What if I told you there's a simple modification that could make your car sound more powerful, boost performance, and even save you from costly repairs down the road? Sounds tempting, right? But here's the catch, that same modification could also land you with huge fines because your car to fail emissions tests and make it illegal to drive on public roads. We're talking about the catalytic converter Delete, one of the most controversial upgrades in the car world. Some drivers say it's the best thing they've ever done to their ride. More power, better sound, and fewer problems. Others warn it's a terrible mistake that could ruin your car's value and get you in serious trouble. So in this video, we're breaking down the truth about catalytic converter Delete. What it is, how it's done, what benefits it can bring, and what serious downsides come with it. But before we get into all that, let's first understand what a catalytic converter actually does and why people even think about removing it in the first place. A catalytic converter, often called a CAT, sits in your exhaust system. Its job is to clean the harmful gases your engine produces, like carbon monoxide and nitrogen oxides, and turn them into less dangerous ones before they leave your tailpipe. Basically, it's your car's way of being a little kinder to the environment. Inside the catalytic converter is a honeycomb-like structure coated with precious metals like platinum and palladium. These metals cause a chemical reaction that burns off the harmful gases. Over time, though, this part can get clogged or damaged, making it harder for exhaust gases to pass through. When that happens, your engine has to work harder, fuel economy drops, and you might even see that dreaded check engine light pop up. That's when some drivers decide to remove it completely. And that's what's known as a catalytic converter. Delete. But what really happens when you delete the cat? How is it done? And what are the good and bad sides of doing it? We'll get into that next. The pros of removing your catalytic converter. Let's start with the reasons people actually go for a catalytic converter delete. Because honestly, there are some clear upsides that make it so tempting for car enthusiasts. First up, better exhaust flow and more power. The catalytic converter is great for the environment, but it's also restrictive. It creates back pressure in your exhaust system, meaning the engine has to push harder to get those gases out. Once you take it out of the equation, exhaust gases can move more freely. This lets the engine breathe better, and when your engine breathes better, it performs better. You'll usually notice a small but clear increase in horsepower and throttle response. The car just feels lighter and more eager when you press the gas pedal. Next up, improved fuel efficiency. Because your engine doesn't have to fight against as much back pressure, it can run a bit more efficiently. That means, in some cases, you might actually see a small bump in fuel mileage, not huge but enough to notice over time. Then there's sound. For a lot of car owners, this is the main reason they delete the catalytic converter. Removing it gives your exhaust a deeper, throatier, and louder tone. The engine note becomes raw and aggressive, especially if you have a performance car or truck. It's the kind of sound that makes your car feel more alive every time you drive it. Another plus is fewer repair worries. Catalytic converters can get clogged, fail or even be stolen, and they're not cheap to replace. Depending on your vehicle, a new one can cost anywhere from a few hundred to several thousand dollars. So once it's deleted, that's one expensive part you never have to deal with again. And finally, simpler exhaust setup. Without the converter and all its sensors, the exhaust system becomes easier to maintain and modify. That's why many people doing performance builds or track cars choose to remove it altogether. It just makes tuning and exhaust upgrades much simpler. So yes, the catalytic converter Delete can bring you better performance, better sound, and lower maintenance costs. But as with most things that sound too good to be true, there's a flip side. And the downsides can be serious. Now that we've talked about the upsides, let's look at the part most people don't think about, the cons. Because while deleting your catalytic converter might sound great at first, it comes with some serious trade-offs. The first and biggest issue is emissions and legality. The catalytic converter isn't just there for looks, it's a key part of your car's emission system. It reduces the harmful gases that come out of your tailpipe, helping the environment and keeping the air cleaner. When you remove it, those gases go straight into the air, unfiltered. That means more carbon monoxide, hydrocarbons, and nitrogen oxides, the stuff that causes smog and health problems. Because of this, removing the catalytic converter is illegal in most places, especially in the US, Canada, the UK, and much of Europe. The EPA Environmental Protection Agency 
and local authorities can fine you heavily for tampering with emissions equipment. In some states, you can face fines up to $2,500 per vehicle, and if you're caught selling or installing captive leak kits, it could be even higher. That's not all. Your car will most likely fail its emissions or inspection test. In many states, vehicles must pass these tests to stay road legal. If your car doesn't have a catalytic converter, it'll fail instantly, meaning you can't legally drive it on public roads. Next up, the check engine light. When you remove the catalytic converter, the sensors in your exhaust system, especially the oxygen sensors, get confused. The ECU expects certain readings from the cat, and when it doesn't get them, it triggers that bright orange check engine light. You can reprogram the ECU or use a tune to bypass the warning, but that's another cost, and it doesn't always work perfectly. Then there's noise. Sure, the louder sound can be fun for some people, but for others, especially on long drives, it can get annoying fast. And depending on where you live, a car that's too loud can attract unwanted attention from both neighbors and law enforcement. Another downside is resale value. Most buyers don't want a modified exhaust system, especially one missing its catalytic converter. If you ever try to sell the car, a missing cat could turn off buyers or lower the price significantly. Dealers usually won't accept the car without one either, because it's not compliant with emissions laws. Finally, let's not forget engine tuning and performance balance. Yes, removing the converter can improve exhaust flow, but without proper tuning, it can also mess up your air-to-fuel ratio and harm performance in the long run. Some cars even run rougher or lose low-end torque after a cat delete. So while deleting the catalytic converter has its perks, the risks are very real, and in some cases, they can far outweigh the benefits. Okay, let's get practical. If someone decides to remove the catalytic converter, there are a few common ways they do it. Each method ends with the same result. No catalytic converter, but the steps and visibility differ. How it's done, gutting the converter. This means keeping the metal shell in place, but removing the honeycomb inside. After the internals are pulled out, the housing is welded back up. The car looks mostly stock from the outside, but the converter no longer works. Full physical removal. This is when the whole catalytic converter and its pipes are cut out and replaced with a straight pipe or a pipe with a resonator. This gives the best exhaust flow and the loudest sound, but it's the easiest to spot. Software only, ECU tune. Mechanics or tuners can update the car's ECU to stop monitoring the catalytic converter and clear the related error codes. This is usually done together with a physical removal to avoid the check engine light. A proper tune is important, otherwise the engine may run poorly or throw errors. What it costs? Ballpark figures, parts. If you're making your own pipes or buying a kit, expect anywhere from $100 to $800 depending on materials in your car. Labor shop rates vary, but a basic install can be a $100, $500. If access is hard, labor can be higher. Tuning ECU work, this is often the pricier part. Expect $500 to $3,000 depending on the vehicle, tuner skill, and how much custom work is needed. Legal fines or failed inspections. These can be expensive, potentially hundreds or thousands if you're ticketed or fail state inspections. Safer alternatives to a full delete. If your goal is to fix problems or get better performance without the heavy legal risk, consider these options. Replace a bad catalytic converter with a new OEM unit. It's expensive, but gets you legal and clean running again. High flow catalytic converters. These reduce back pressure while still filtering emissions. They provide a balance between power and compliance. Cat back exhaust or performance downpipe where legal. These improve flow and sound without removing emission controls in the middle of the system. Fix sensors and ECU issues. Sometimes the check engine light or poor performance is due to bad oxygen sensors, not the cat itself. Replacing sensors can solve many problems. Anti-theft measures and theft insurance. If your concern is stolen cats, they are targeted for their precious metals. Consider cages, parking in secure areas, or insurance that covers theft. DPF cat cleaning and maintenance. If a cat is clogged, professional cleaning may restore function without replacement. Is it worth it? The truth is, a catalytic converter, delete is a real trade-off. On the plus side, you can get better exhaust flow, a louder and more aggressive sound, and avoid certain repair headaches. 
For race-only cars or off-road builds, some owners decide those benefits are worth it. But on the negative side, it's usually illegal on public roads, raises emissions, can trigger the check engine light, hurts resale value, and may lead to big fines or failed inspections. For many drivers, especially those who use their car on public streets every day, those downsides make a delete a risky move. If you're thinking about this for your car, do two things first. Check your local laws and weigh the real costs, not just parts and labor, but future inspections, resale and legal risk. There are cleaner and safer ways to chase performance that don't make your car illegal. If you learned something new today or found this video helpful, do me a quick favor. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the bell icon so you don't miss future videos just like this one. We've got more honest breakdowns, real car advice, and performance tips coming up that'll help you get the most out of your vehicle the right way. Thanks for watching, stay safe, and I'll catch you in the next one.